Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, hello, it's Jada. Today I'm gonna to be showing you top 10 places you might want to visit in Singapore. Uh, Singapore is one of the stunning, eco-friendly, lighting, chanting countries in Southeast Asia. I think it's one of the greatest countries for travel too because it's exotic and convenient, clean and safe. The majority of people in Singapore are actually Chinese, but besides them, there are Malaysian, um, Indian, um, some Europeans too and they all communicate in English. It's their national language, so yeah. Um, I stayed in Singapore for eight months recently. So based on my experience, I'd like to tell you what places you should go to have such an amazing travel experience in Singapore. All right, without further ado, let's right get into this video. The first one is Super Tree Grove. It's very close to Marina Bay Sands. You just walk along the connecting bridge from Marina Bay Sands to get to Gardens by the Bay. There is no entrance fee for this huge grove. These trees are called the super tree. It is man-made though, it's as beautiful as the real nature. If you have another plan in the daytime, don't worry about it because every evening twice, they hold a light show event. The event is called the Gardens Rhapsody. The first one starts at 7.45 p.m. and the next one starts one hour later which is 8.45 p.m. Let me show you how it is a bit. It will give you such an amazing, unforgettable experience. The next one is Cloud Forest, also in Gardens by the Bay. It has the entrance fee though, it's worth it. Once you enter the cloud forest, you will see gigantic indoor waterfall. That's just breathtaking, it's so amazing. If you want to take some good IG photos, get there early in the morning like 9am. Every 2 hours from 10am to 8pm, it missed for 15 minutes. Overall, the conservatory seemed well maintained. I highly, highly recommend. Number 3, Merlion Park. Merlion is a symbol of Singapore. The word Merlion basically describes its shape. The head is the lions and the body is the fishes. Mysteriously, Merlion Park is always overcrowded. A lot of people stand around the statue and never go in. Just letting you know. Good luck! Number 4, Orchard. If there was a capital in Singapore, I think Orchard would be the one. Anyway, there are huge shopping centers such as Ion Orchard, 313 at Somerset, and Orchard Central. In the Orchard Central, there is Orchard Gateway Bridge, which is directly linked to the Orchard Gateway Shopping Mall. Number 5 is Tiong Bahru. Tiong Bahru is one of the oldest villages in Singapore. I like the Tiong Bahru a lot because of the chilled and quiet atmosphere. There are some cute coffee shops and bakeries. Among them, I recommend Tiong Bahru Bakery which is well known for croissant. It opens 8 a.m. but it gets crowded in 15 minutes. You will see colorful flowers, light bulbs, gravities, and other cute coffee shops around you. Number 6, Little India. The streets and the restaurants are exotic, but if you run out of time, if you really, really run out of time, I think you can just skip here or just quickly check out the rainbow building and go to the next place. Number 7, Boogies. Besides Orchard, there is another good shopping center in Boogies. It's Boogies Junction. Right in front of Boogies Junction, there is Boogies Street. It's a shopping street. It's fun to look around and walk along the narrow ways. I bet at least one time, you will have tough time to get out of there.
Number eight, Chinatown. There are many interesting things like the colorful buildings, cute stores, food, and so on. It's absolutely one of my favorite places in Singapore. This is the famous food court. The name is Maxwell Hawker Center. Look at this apartment. I was just overwhelmed. This is Sri Mariaman Temple. It's very famous too. Number 9. Hao Par Villa. Hao Par Villa is a park with some creepy statues. You probably like it, especially this place, Ten Courts of Hell. It's based on Chinese myth about metamorphosis. Oh my god, actually, you know what? <laughs> so creepy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I highly, highly recommend. The last one is Kempong Glen. For the best spots in this area, I pick Arab Street and Haji Lane. The name of Kempong Glen is originated from Malay words. You can see those great gravity walls, fabric shops, fashion boutiques, and cute coffee shops. On top of that, there's a Sultan Masak. It will make your jaw drop. I visited Arab Street and Haji Lane twice because it was so marvelous and exotic. Particularly, I love the artistic touches on the walls. Alright, so in this video, I'll show you top 10 places you might want to visit in Singapore. Besides these 10 places, I think there are a lot more awesome and fun places like Universal Studio, Botanical Garden, and Clark Cay if you like drinking and clubbing like that. But based on my experience, I think these 10 places that I just showed you are not overly advertised and you know, legitly worth it to visit. <laughs> Especially if it's the first time for you to go to Singapore. Anyway, yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you. If there's any other good places that you know, then please, please, please comment down below. <laughs> and yeah, if you liked my video, please put the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!